Hello, wonderful people. I have not changed the camera. Hello, wonderful. Why is the camera not on? For fuck one minute. Jesus. Why? <laughs> Why is the camera not on? <laughs> the camera, like, the camera's never not on. I will say that now. The camera's, like, never ever not on. Except when I'm doing certain things. But. I don't know what's happening here. How embarrassing. The void has consumed me whole. This would be a really, really funny time for my camera to break. There we go. How we doing? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Right. Cool. We're going to get started with some Blasphemous. Sorry I'm a wee bit late. Uh, I was getting like a kind of thing off on the job side of things. Uh, you know, I'm actively job hunting, which is a bit rubbish, but it's uh, better than what I was doing. I do, I've got both a hot beverage and a cold beverage, and both of them feature the finest Scottish water. My hot, my hot beverage is literally just hot water, and my cold beverage is literally just cold water. Uh, right, we were at the Palace of Embroideries. Um, and it would be good if I changed over to the game. Silly goose I am. See, well, the thing is, is like, I, I started drinking hot water because generally hot water is supposed to be like really, really good for you. Um, and... That blocks too much of the screen. There we go. Uh, and it started as like a, a good way to you know, remain healthy and stuff, so I was just like, yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, Twitch has stories, I have no idea how to make one at all. They haven't told me. Maybe maybe it's not been rolled out to me yet. They don't see me as partner worthy, so they don't, uh, they, they don't roll out the stories to me. Um, right, what is our plan? I have no idea what we're doing. I think... I'm trying to remember what we were up to. Oh god. Cool. So we were in this funky little house actually. And that was what we were doing. So... Were we... Yeah, we were off to the... We were going to the right there. That's what it was. Right, hold on. I need to remember the controls. Okay, we've got our, we've got our shit locked down now. Hey, Zenya, how you doing? Ah, sorry, hear that, Doom Dread shirt. It's uh, rough out there at the moment. It's just one of my contracts finished up, so I've, I've now got to find something else, and I suppose it's the one thing about being kind of freelance is that it can be... it can be pretty rough. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and gentle. Ah, shit. Kill these wee guys. Oh. I do like this mace. It's very good. It's a good weapon. Oh. Get wrecked, son. Oh god. It's, it's really, it's really tough to get into uh, Doom Dreadshot. It's good on you for trying though. It's not an easy feat by any stretch. Oh, come on. Uh, uh. Shit, how do I heal again? How do I heal? How do I heal? How, how the fuck, there I go. I think it is, yeah. What's the heal button? It's Y, that's what it is. Jeez. Oh. 
Well, good. Ow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the the statue thing. I don't think it I don't think it's bugs, I think it's weirder than bugs. Oh fuck off. Uh, I, mean, I can't I can't exactly remember what, but there's uh. Ow, ow, ow. We're going to avoid all these, actually. Nice. Good morning, Hubris. Welcome to this palace. Oh, good. How silent, how mundane these luxurious halls that were once frequented by the most, most distinguished, distinguished of visitors. They all ended up staying trapped, petrified like golden I do. Although that's a rapier, that's. Yeah. Dance now with my steel pennant. Okay, let's go. On guard. Hand is totally in the wrong place for fencing, but sure. Ow. Okay, she hits like a truck. Okay. Ow. Oh, shit. Heal, heal, heal! You fuck. Honestly, why is it that, like, there's so many games that try and invent it and they, they do it all the time and they change the heal button? In what world is the heal button why? Lies of P and. Uh, <laughs> and the other one has been like the same button, I think. No, wait, it's X in. Is it X for both? It is, it's X for both. Um, Lies of P and Lords of the Fallen, and now I'm being thrown a curveball with Blasphemous and it's Y button. Fucking. It's down. I wouldn't say down, I'd say up. That would be, that'd be my choice. Okay, let's go. Oh, I fucking just healed! Because why is the pickup button in so many fucking games? Ah! <laughs> uh, Stardew Meaning World, welcome to the chill stream. Chill Thursday stream for everyone. Okay, hit me after the fact. Oh, this sucks. I'm getting the vibe that I'm actually horrendously underpowered for this. Let's check. What well, I could do, because I've got 26,000 things. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. I do think that like sometimes I could I, I could have easily have just played more Lies of P today or I could have went and uh, done like Lords of the Fallen but I was like nah Blasphemous has been on my to-do list for a wee while. Dost thou, dost, doth thee wish to make the sacrifice? Sure. Just cut and lose half my health. Fantastic. Open up the skin. And uncover the lie that my shell conceals. Okay. For I am only blood and bones. So allow the chalices to be filled with the. 
Do I wish to give a silver clad crystal shard? Sure. This crystal, I mark and in Oh, our bile flasks got Only better. Oh, we've got empty receptacles. Cool, we can... More healing. Bring this me. is the way. Bring me. Okay, I can only do those Bring two. Me. Right, we get it. Bring me more stuff. So greedy. Aha! Oh, we've got nine cherubs now. That's good. <laughs> is this this flask, isn't it? Right, okay, so... We did a whole bunch of stuff up here. I will, I'll go back to that boss at one point. I'll, I'll see where I'm at at the moment, because I feel like there's a bunch of stuff I need to grab. I definitely don't know this map as well as I knew the first one. I know it's only been out for a short amount of time, but I don't know, I feel like I'm constantly losing it. There we go. Jump up here, jump up there. We haven't been to the right here. Wonder why. Oh, I wonder why we haven't been to the right, because there is nothing. It is the abyss. I see. Hmm, okay. Oh, that does straight up just kill you. Okay, yep, that makes sense. Fine. I mean, I know in hindsight, I probably should have suspected that the, uh, the I thought it was going to, like, make us drop, like, a screen or whatever, but no. It did not. We just <laughs> face planted to the ground. Made a neat little pancake. Curious what's down here. Cool. One, two, no! Fucker! Okay, I was way too cam crossing there. Should have been faster. One, two, three. Go. Nice. What do we got? The scroll of the elder. Where to now? We could go down to that middle section there. Yeah, let's do that. Oh. We also have, we've got 26,000, um, what do you call it? What do you mean thingies? The fucking, the, the souls basically. We've got 26,000 souls, almost 27,000 souls, which is pretty good. Um, because there is quite a lot to buy in this. Um, I'm sure we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hmm, we have to go. We've done a whole bunch of stuff up there, we don't need to go back yet at least. Hmm. Do we have to fight this woman? I think we do. Okay, we just need to get good. In fact, hold on, hold on a little second here. Hold on. We do need to get good, but I think there's a way that we can get better. Hey, honey belly, how you doing? Good to see you. Today we're playing some Blasphemous. For anyone who doesn't know, Blasphemous is a, like this kind of amazingly wonderful pixel art game that takes place 
primarily in, um, I think it's Spain. Um, what wax seed? That's interesting. Uh, I think it's like it's very heavily influenced by like old Spanish Catholicism, and old Spanish Catholicism is fucked. <laughs> Here among my. Um, it's really, it's really, like, fucked. Like, if you think the Catholic Church is a bit mental now, it was, like, really mental back in the day, apparently. Oh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely stunning, like, all of the stuff, and there's, there's now animated scenes as well, which are really nice. Um, they've obviously done a lot of work on the polished sides of it. Okay, open, can we increase... Oh yeah, we're gonna increase our altarpiece capacity as much as we can. The altar here. The more the merrier, because we get to. So we've unlocked two slots there. Now, if I'm correct, there's like. Depending on how you mix things. So there's. They don't do anything. So this is the second game. The, the the latest one is the second game. This is the second game. Now, if I am correct... Ah, hold on. So there's a thing there. Gregel's Favour, which increases the strength of this weapon. So we're gonna we're gonna play around a little bit because it's like you can So what does that do? Contagion. Blocking an attack creates a whirlpool of miasma that damages nearby enemies. Hmm. So putting two of the alt pieces together creates like quite a funky combination and there's some really good ones. Um, I'm trying to remember half of them. But that one increases the damage of Verdicto, which is a really good weapon. It's probably my favourite weapon, but the weapon that we need at the moment is like... So there's that one. It's a shame that we don't have tons of the pieces yet. Okay, we need three of those martyr things. Hmm. Fervor generated when attacking enemies. Not really that useful. Increase the window of time to perform a block, maybe? Reduces penalties for accumulation of guilt, increases physical damage afflicted. That's good. Hmm. Right, we'll just do that for just now. Yeah, so this is Veredicto, and it is like an amazing way. It's just bonk central. All you do is just boomf bonk. This is the way. When in doubt, bonk it out with Veredicto. Absolute favourite weapon. Because, like, don't get me wrong, a sword's cool, but it's not super cool. And then these little daggers are just like, ugh. Whereas this one's bush. Those are the sound effects for all the weapons I've just done there. <laughs> you get bush, you get... Ugh. And then you get slashy. Grab this, and we'll head this way. And you'll notice that I'm dealing, because I've put those two altar pieces side by side on my back, and I'm now doing way more damage, which is great. Means that some of these enemies are like two hits and I kill them, which is nice. Only problem is, is we need to use those silly little blades for this fight. Because I think... I think 
she's too fast for Benedicto. I mean, we could give it a try, actually, but... Bonk! It is so hard to dodge that attack. I mean, I could fight him with Benedicto, to be honest. The only problem is she does that attack really well. Holy shit, I should just use Benedicto. Oh no. Heal, heal, heal. Because it also stun locks her. Oh no. Oh, piss, piss, piss. Piss. Come on. She's nearly down. There we go. That'll do it. <laughs> okay, so it turns out you totally don't need that weapon for anything. <laughs> it's like, very dicto. Bonk. Every single enemy in this game get bonked. <laughs> that was pretty good. All oh, right, dreams of incense. That's incense, by the way. Be witness to this vigil before my final journey. I don't know if a cat has like scratched me, but I've got like a tiny, tiny cut in the bottom of my lip, and it's so fucking sore. It's like, you know when the, like, the bottom of your lip, your skin just cracks like this fucking agony. The ah. of embroiderers, ancient secret of the needle and the thread. Where I go, naught shimmers with gold. That's because you're dead. steel will never again adorn the air with its elegant silver calligraphy. Nah, it's not a bite, I don't think. I think, like, it's a tiny wee cat claw. What, what I'm guessing's happened is that Aoife has decided to inspect me while I sleep and has decided to just go and stab me. That's the only, it's the only thing I can say that it's, 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 it's 100% your fault, basically. Saw its will tarnished in its prolonged absence. Erring in its newly created work. It conferred on that child, as much its own as that of another. The blessing of deformity, it spread throughout. I don't know why, there's something like, like there's something contagion. weird about these games. I, like, I don't, like, germinating and it's a style of game, it's not just blasphemous, because it's like, flesh of the repentant. I, I, I've said it before while we played blasphemous, but there's like something about the art style and just like the inherent, like, like the never-ending bleakness of it. Because like in this art style, there's some there's some backgrounds where it's like rolling desert for like for ages and ages, and it's I don't know. It just captures this like really weird feeling. I, I can't I can't place it. It's so bizarre. And trying to describe it's even harder. I'm not sure. Is is it like malaise? I don't know. But like, it's the exact same feeling I felt when I played Donkey Kong on the Game Boy, the game, the original Game Boy, the original Donkey Kong game, where you, as Mario, before he was called Mario, you just chased through a whole bunch of levels to find this princess, and yeah, it's, it's just, I, I, it's, it's such a weird thing to fucking say. Yeah, you know the, sorry, you know the original Donkey Kong, as in the one that you've seen a million times on t-shirts and shit, where it's like, 
climbing up the little thing and the barrels get chucked at you. That was like a full Game Boy game. Like a full one. There was levels, it was a puzzler, they like you you did the city where he would like throw stuff down at you and you had to, to jump it, but then you moved to the forest and then there was a jungle, then there was a plane, there was a boat, there was a, like an ice area, there was ab absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. And then you got to this end section where it was like Donkey Kong's tower. And it was like figures of the family have humbled themselves before just nuts like the, it was donkey kong's tower and you had to climb up in the boss battle you had to fight donkey kong at the end because you had to use like mario could like stand on his hands so when a barrel was thrown at you you had to like do a handstand with mario and then catch the barrel with your feet and it would like bounce off your feet and then like stand upright and then you could jump on top of it and pick it up and then throw it at him. It was... Now go for I did not dream this game, <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> it was it was absolutely wild though, the whole thing was nuts. I used to spend so long on it because it was like you had a limited number of lives. It was Ma Yeah, it was Mario vs Donkey Kong. I thought it was before he was called Mario, but maybe it was Mario vs Donkey Kong, but it was it was such a... N not the Mario toys? I don't think so. You were constantly trying to save what was Peach, but it wasn't Peach. It was like, just... It was just woman. <laughs> that was her name. Oh, well then locked. Now able to travel to the city from any pre due. Yeah, it was pixel art. It was definitely pixel art. Like 100% was pixel art. Right, where are we going? Ah, uh, we could go up. I don't know if we can go up. Hmm. Promise you I didn't dream this. <laughs> but it was it was it was really, really good. Ah, I loved it. When I was uh Okay, we cannot get to that tower yet. The woman was the mayor lady from not New York in Odds I no idea. You know what? I'm, actually, I'm gonna have to find this now. You're, you're... Was it Mario versus Donkey Kong? That was a video game C. Oh, no, 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 no. It was like way older than that. It was... Donkey Kong 94, maybe? I don't remember it having colour. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was Donkey Kong 94, I'm pretty sure. I wish I was able to post, like, photos in chat, because then you'd be able to see it. Um, in fact, what am I doing? I can just fucking... This. It was this. And it looked like that, but it wasn't coloured in. There you go. Sorted. <laughs> it was that cartridge as well. It was like the <laughs> giant grey one. Nope. Wrong way. Right, so I think one, two, three. There we go. Yeah, Donkey Kong 94. We've cracked the code, we've found it. The upper 
reaches of countless legends tell of Oh yeah, almost definitely, Froggy. The heights have hidden. Can it be the city? What holiness cast your eye? I'm gonna buy the choir master. I'm basically gonna try and get as many of the until as many of the things as possible. I'm going this way just to check this side because we don't think we've been here. No, we haven't. Haha. -ha. We have a chest. The ecstatic novice. There we go. Wonder what that does. I'm pretty sure that's a good one that we need. Much time you must more than ever a fiery glow that outlines with meek all who were there were the remnants of that radiance. Never could I forget it. So I read pretty fast, so I, I fly through a lot of these. A uh, the ecstatic novice increases the stun power of your attacks. I'm pretty sure it was that. Because, yeah, you get the increased Veredicto one. And then we can get... I'm trying to remember, actually. What happens if... See, there's no upgrade with them, no upgrade with them, no upgrade with them, no upgrade with them, no upgrade with them. Don't grab them. Don't grab them. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Neither have. The um. We'll need to. We'll need to try and find. Like, I mean, we'll probably end up getting a how to find all the stuff walkthrough up because it'll be way more useful. But I'll I'll just continue for now and we'll we'll do it. That's pretty cool. Uh, go this way? Sure. Nope, denied, get lost. <laughs> the original Donkey Kong map was an arcade cabinet where you jumped over barrels. Yeah, so this game was pretty much that. But uh, it just had, like, environmental stuff. Like, I remember the plane one, you had to go, like, off the side of the plane, and it was, like, it would have wind mechanics that would blow you off and everything. It was nuts. To be honest, it's probably really, really easy now. <laughs> I bet you I could play it now and smash the shit out of it. I think it might be somewhere with my uh, my Game Boy Advance SP. I think it's around there somewhere. Hey, this boy is beyond. Oh, hopefully, I got the pronunciation right there. Thanks very much for the follow. Hope you're having a great day. Oh shit! Fat head. Oh, I can't make that jump. Hmm. Wrecked, son. What's up here? Something that I can't access yet. I need the... I need the double jump. That's what I need. Ooh! Jesus. Wow, okay. Fucking hell. Okay, that wasn't my finest ever. Ah, okay, I see. So we do this, which moves her. Right, watch this.
Oh fuck no! <laughs> Ruined. Ah, oh, fucked it so bad. Jesus. Right. I got the order of my weapons wrong there. Right. So one slide. One bonk. Nice. There we go. Easy as... Yeah, not that easy actually, it was difficult. Okay, got them. Hide. Easy as pie, yes. Universal sued since Donkey Kong was similar to King Kong. They lost the case to Nintendo's attorney for the case John Kirby is the same name for Kirby. Is the reason for the name? That's amazing. <laughs> Class. What a legacy. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, fuck. Look at the health on this guy. Jesus. Pfft, get wrecked. Nice. Well, fine. No. Oh, I hate these fucking enemies. Dead. That was a really cool finisher, and then I just got tag teamed by the worst enemies in the game. <laughs> that is exactly it, Rocket Plane. The level of respect you get. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, I definitely fucking swung it twice. Come on. We're back up here. Nice. Probably not, no. Um, to be honest, you're probably supposed to use a different weapon. Maybe. Oh, he's stuck on the stairs. I see you. Jesus, they're solid, aren't they? Nah, I don't think there's <laughs> I don't think there's really any difference. Oh What? Was that really low on health there? I didn't even see that, Jesus. I thought I had not bad health. I thought I was rather healthy. Ow. Holy shit, look at the amount of damage I'm getting because I got clipped. I was half health. Wow. Okay, I thought I had way more juice in the barrel. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I'm probably need to find like health upgrades would be good. Didn't even get to try and fight those uh, bandits again. Right, you're dead. Ah, there's a lot of the same enemy. Um, come on, you.
Oh, yeah, sure. that was taken off there. Jesus. Absolute war of attrition here. What happened to the funky little he's wounded move? That was fun at least. While it lasted. There we go. <laughs> it is a very cool, like, execution animation. Ugh, I've got to be here now. This game hates me. What? Why is it not letting me? Oh, fuck off. What the hell can you do? How is that? How does that not clear? I what the fuck? It's so hard just to get to that point. Jesus Christ. I can't believe I got killed by one of those little fucking skull lamps. After dealing with all the rest of it. <laughs> I feel like recently enemy hitboxes have not been my friend. Like the... Like their attack radius is just be beyond anything. What are you going to do about it? Right, the idea is not to lose all of my fucking health to this guy. Whew, good lord, there we go. I think it's probably about both. I'm trying to think. So we've got weapon memories. We've not unlocked the second or the third slot. I think each time you do unlock, like, more, your weapon gets stronger. As far as I'm aware. No, he should be dead. Know how to deal with you. Know how to deal with you. Know how to deal with a pity you. You get back. <laughs> Having none of it. There we go. No! No shit! Fuck, what's this? Oh no! You're having a fucking joke, man. Fuck. Okay, it's definitely a damage issue then. My money's on it being a damage issue. The thing with that room, right, is that see when you see when you beat it, there's actually nothing. That, I think it's only 
There's either one thing that spawns in these kind of rooms, or it's, like, nothing. I was close that time. I just need to remember to cast my little spell. See, if I'm able to get through this room with no issue, then I wish there was a way. If I had, like, if I had the double jump, which I know is in this game, eh, uh, it would help me a lot. You're dead. Right. Hey, Snowy, how you doing? We're trying really hard to get past this one fucking area. I'm glad to hear it. It's one hit. Nice. Nice. Okay. No! Fucking hell. What? Right. One, two, three. Right. Come on. Oh, we've got you now. Take that, you little shit. And there was a checkpoint right there. Can he win? So what's... Let's go down first. Oh shit, these guys. I'm gonna have to kill him before I do anything. Nice. Nice. Oh, yes! Now we're talking. So I think overall it's now stronger, right? No, no, I have to upgrade it. Increase Veredicto's base damage. Yes, please. Hmm. So now I should be able to kill these things. Yeah, miles faster. It's a party. Hello. Let's go. So yes, it was definitely a damage output thing, but it looks like you can get past that with little issue. Mm -hmm. Can I jump that? Ho ho! Only just. Votive offering off the miserable, sure. And those are now one hit kill as well, that's good. Can't do anything here, okay. Can't do anything there. Can't get up there either. 
Oh, this is the way to the Cherub place. Woohoo! Oh. I've got more than that. Yeah. Cool. Help us by freeing. Free our brothers. Sure. I'm sure in these games, like, there's a point where you get to where it does unveil secrets on the map. Like, it's more of a, here's where you need to go, but we've not encountered that yet, so. We now need to ascend once again. Can't go in that way, though. Maybe head back up, yeah? We shall ascend. For fuck's sake. Move out the way, you dick. Pumpkin panic. What is, uh, what's that? I've never heard of it. Oh God, this fucking guy again. A farming horror game. I feel like there's tons of those coming out. <laughs> eh, I'm not, I'm not seen that yet. No, I'll have a look at it though. Ah oh, no, no! Ah. Right, enough, enough. God, there's fucking loads of them. Ah! You're ha you fucking joking me, right? Ah, dating me. Sometimes things try to kill you when you farm. Fair enough. Sounds very much like normal farming. Do you ever feel like giving up on a really hard area? Um, so, the only time that I do give up on an overly difficult area is if I know it's an area I'm not supposed to be in at that moment in the game, but I tried it anyway. Whereas I feel like this is more just a skill issue on my part. Like, this is definitely all just skill issues. Yeah. I'm not even gonna pretend. You're dead. Right. See, now it's easy. A level where your only weapon's throwing knives. There's some, like, I'm trying to think what's like, okay, what's everyone's most like dislike gimmicky level or whatever in video games? Because I, like, I hate timed races. I think that's the most annoying thing in the world. How the fuck? Die. There we go. Swamp levels, yeah, they're high up on the hate meter Escort missions, yeah. Yeah. For me, it was like, see the Batman Arkham City trial ones. Like, the, the Riddler stuff. I can't, I can't, I can't get back. Okay, no, I'll just do that, that's fine. Okay. Oh nice, abandoned rosary now. Nice. Uh, 
sorry, it's probably Arkham's Arkham Knight. It's probably Arkham Knight that I meant to say there. What the fuck is raining blood? Oh fuck, no! Oh, I hate these fucking enemies so much, man. They're so shite. What a bastard. And the worst thing is, it's actually better for me to go to that other one. Hmm. I think it makes sense to travel to the city here. I've also got a nosery rot to a rosary, not a rosary. Yeah. I'm trying to remember where I hand those in. It's not the blood woman. Ah, it's over there. No, we're not rosary knotting. Toxic boy mom pipeline? Sorry? What is that? <laughs> Cool, that means we can add another little thing. Reduces. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, fuck off. Ah, go away. Oh, that's horrendous. Thank you for that. <laughs> Great. I didn't know that was a thing that had a pipeline. Although I suppose everything has a pipeline these days. What? Did I, did I ask actually? Do I want to know? Give us a little insight. It sounds horrendous. I did see one thing that was absolutely awful, and it was like, uh, I'm not sure if you saw it recently, but it was like the the American football, like the high school American football thing, and this woman jumps up on one of them and like wraps her legs around them, uh, and there was so many videos where it was like, yeah, that's his mum, and it's like, ugh, zoink, scoob. <laughs> yep. It was it was one of those things where it was like, oh, 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 yikes. But like Not to be that guy, but surely having a child means they were accepted by a man. Oh, but she featured in the video. Oh, no. <laughs> Horrendous. Emotionally rejected. Yeah, that's... yeah. But even still, yikes. Fucking. Okay. Okay. 
so like what was the like what was the conclusion you, you, you can't just don't leave us hanging we need to know everything now in fact you're gonna have to share the video i hate to say it you're gonna have to share it in uh, the discord Oh, it's so hard to get a hit in. At all? What the fuck? Okay, so I can actually go to the other side. That Fucking hell. Indeed. Yeah, shove it in Twitch. Just be like, yeah, sorry for my my posting in here. Sorry to expose you to all of this. Oh. To allow you to ascend, the miracle first asks that you descend. For fuck's sake. Follow the melody that rises from deep within. Great, so we need to go we need to go down. Okay, sure. Wait, what does Fervent Kisses do? I'm sure they do something... Piece of cloth used by the High Sanctities to cleanse their hands after being kissed. Sure. Hello. That's it. You alright? Oh, yeah, no, okay, so I can't, can't get this way at all, so I need to descend. How much do I need to fucking descend? Like, all the way, I need to go down there, don't I? No worries, Hubris, thanks very much for joining. A bond of enmeshment. That just sounds bad. <laughs> Like, if there's one bond that sounds bad, it's one that's called enmeshment. No worries, Froggy. Catch you in a wee bit. Thanks very much for hanging out. So it asked me to descend, but... But... Clearly not this way. How much dissension were we talking about? Ah, oh, God, I didn't know y'all thought this much of me. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> Have a good time at wherever you need to go, folks. I will not be too offended. I'll just be really upset. You're still here, Xenia. Exactly. That's good. What exactly? What is work? <laughs> nah, thanks very much for hanging out, everyone. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, we're going to push on a little bit with Blasmus, if I can. Um, how on earth do we get down there? There doesn't seem to be any, like, except that maybe that room. It's that room, isn't it? God. Someone just spilled a bunch of ink into the ocean and they were like, ah, well, at least we've got a name for it now. Okay, let's go. So we'll go here, I'm guessing, and then... Oh no, it's the sickle woman. Hey, Lynx, how you doing? Welcome to chat. Hope you're having a good day. 
It's your day off. Excellent. Okay, we are progressing. Oh, there's so many women scythes or sickles even. Sorry, it's not even a scythe. Does it begin with an I and sound with incense? Does it sound like incense? Okay, so there's... Okay, that's... I, I was not about to say, okay, that's fine. But yeah, that's creepy. Okay, so this is how, yeah, this is how we go down. We're in the, we're in the mother of mothers. <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> Wait a minute, the mother of mothers was an area in the first game, was it not? This is, because I remember this room and I remember that bell. This is from the first game. How weird. Yeah, it was. That's your uh, your right, Jaster. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, because it's got these enemies in it. I remember now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shit. There we go. Get punked. I remember these swinging incense jars as well. Oh no. See, that one works really well on him. Hey, Taranga, how you doing? Welcome. Are we at the fucking Ink Sea again? We are! Oh, you cheeky bastards. Really want tacos? Mmm, tacos are nice. I can't... Hold on a wee second, that was uninvited as well. How are we talking about food already? <laughs> yeah, this is Blasphemous Taranga. So this is, uh... A 2D Metroidvania that is based heavily on Spanish Catholicism uh, and is very, it's, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous for one thing, but it's also like very brutal. We, we, we apparently are on the food talk now, soft shell tacos is what we're wanting. Okay, so. Did we just go the complete wrong way? I think we did. <laughs> okay, we can't go that way either. It's fine. These little priest frogs are a bit creepy. The hard shell falling apart is really annoying. It's probably the most annoying bit about a hard shell taco.
Yeah, I would say like from like I've played quite a lot on my myself, my own playthrough. And one thing I will say is that I think Blasphemous One is the better game. I really like some of the changes here. I love the platforming changes and everything, but one thing I can't get by is is there is a lot of repetition from the first game that this one doesn't have as unique an identity as the first one did. But the first one was so, like, novel and it was, it was awesome. But, like, I, I, I do like this, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this, it's good, it's a good game, and I would recommend it. I just, like, I remember being so wowed by the first one that maybe I have, like, really unrealistic expectations on this one. That being said, I played the first one, it, like, a good while after launch, and the devs supported the game with, like, a whole bunch of, like, free DLC, um, up until... Up until like last year or something like that, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not last year, but you know what I mean. Close enough. Oh wait, what? Okay, so... No, come on. There we go. Hell yeah. The Martinet of Forge and Thunder. I'm trying my best though. I'm also still not feeling 100% as you can probably tell by my voice being awful. Don't, because I'm not deciding what I want food yet. <laughs> this is the problem. I don't know what I'm going to be having for my dinner, so... We did have our muscles yesterday, so that was good. See, this is a good enemy. Like, one attack, very basic, but can be introduced in enough scenarios that they can be a little bit awkward. Potion of chicken noodle soup, that sounds wonderful. I do actually have chicken soup downstairs. I picked up an Asda for like 59 pence, so I was like, what a steal. Chicken noodle soup is really nice. There's some brands that are too watery, and there's other brands that are more like not watery. Viscous, if you will. They're better, in my opinion. Ah, shite, 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 shite. Okay. Ah, nice. So that entire area was just a really long way to get to here, pretty much. Eh, uh, I don't think it's super common nose in ya. Unfortunately not. It might be available in like some restaurants or whatever, but I can't imagine it being like, back here. 
Okay, let's... Uh, oh, come on. Hmm. Fuck's sake. Right, scroll. What's up here? Oh, right, okay. Sure. Ah, uh, don't tell me that I can't fucking... Hold on. Just. All for that one mask of martyrdom. There we go. Can I... I can, I can get through that fence, right. Oh, frog. To be fair, that does sound good. I would love to have a <laughs> have a granny to make me soup. I mean, in fairness, I did have a granny that made me lots of soup all the time, and it was wonderful. <laughs> And a lot of the stuff that she made was from her garden as well. So that was always cool. Shit. No, hold on. Right, I'm gonna get rid of all these little fucks. There we go. Clear chicken broth with dump. Oh, come on. Even when we're talking about like food that is best reserved for when you're ill, if I want it so bad. Hold on. Nice one, I got ten of those. Like, I'm sure there's nothing weird in this room. Yeah, that's the tree from the first game. This is really strange. Why are we back here? Okay. I just wanted to unlock that. Well, they buried it, but like, I don't know. Oh, fuck. These enemies are the worst. They're so strong and they just constantly cast shit. Right, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice. The Immaculate Mother of Peril Gouge. There we go. <laughs> what more could you want? Five. Nice. 
Oh. Oh, this is awful. Oh, God. Holy mother of shit. Is it is it too flickery for you, Snowy? Sorry about that, I should have mentioned. So what's this way? Okay, well just take it easy, alright? If you want, I could let you know whenever there's an enemy like that on screen. Okay. Okay, lightning. Ah, oh, fucking hell, light, just lightning everywhere, okay? Oh wait, I know this room. No, we don't need to fucking, fuck's sake. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so this does that. Nice. Cool. Beneath her sacred ground. There we go. Sorted. Oh. Oh, what a fake out that was. Well, this is one deep hole. I'll tell you that much. Oh, spear women. One. Our bond led us to victory. Is it your wish that I continue? Indeed. Hell yeah. It was the miracle's will that made the lady. The most beautiful of women who lived in the palace by the lake. Lived to admire her own beauty. Which she believed to be unnaturally divine. The reflection of the lake in which she admired herself returned her own beauty with yet more intensity and splendor. Okay. Keeping her spellbound for days, desiring that reflected perfection for herself. She prayed to the lake that no one else might see that reflection. As she looked at her reflection okay. one more time, she saw her face distort. To the sound of a terrible tolling that wrote, Do you wish me to join you in your ne There you shall nice. find me. Oh, we've got a fight coming up. Yeehaw. Let's do it. Who's this? Oh, fuck. No!
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna go the other way. Oh, that is the other way. That was really fast we got our ass kicked there. How the fuck do you dodge any of these? Okay, so we can roll underneath. Oh, wow. Cool design. Oh, shit. Can't move. I cannot move. Okay. Come on. Out. Chai, chai. Okay. I love it when you get them down to like the last eighth of their health and then they change their <laughs> fucking attack pattern. That sucks. Close. We'll get him this time. We'll get him this time. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, man, I would kill to have my, um... Like being able to dodge slightly faster, that'd be good. Cool. Okay. Oh, what? Good lord. Why did I dodge there? I didn't mean to dodge there. Oh. I do like that he constantly breaks his sword. That's quite cool. He picks up a new one. Oh, what a re recovery. Ah, oh, I can't believe he's able to, like, he recovers really fast from that attack. I didn't know he was going to do the spinny thing so close. It's okay, this time, this time, this time.
Oh. Oh, come off it. She attacks really quickly there. Like, together. So he starts off with like a bronze sword and then it becomes a, a silver or an iron or whatever. Come on! Okay, he's got his kind of final one. Oh, we're so close! Heal! <laughs> I can't believe this. I cannot believe this! Die! Thank you! Jesus! <laughs> that was a cool death. <laughs> nice. Two marks of martyrdom. How dark and uncertain are the rooms where the miracle allows us to see and talk to one another. Hmm. Even after the deaths. All oh, right, so this is the guy who was like kind of the bird from the story. We are in the chapel of the five doves. Chapel of the five the doves. Prevail the mighty voice of the witch. Hey, Chicky Boots, thanks very much for the follow. Hope you're having a good day. All that remains of me is testimony. For my deceased body lies exposed in its urn of crystal and gold. Imagine your body just being on display, but like also having five living doves <laughs> directly above you, each with their own golden ornate cage. You will have need of the uncorrupted because, tongue of my mortal because why not? Still you know? harbor, whose forbidden whispers will guide thee on the path to such an undertaking. Release the five doves, and thus the urn containing my body shall be opened. Wake up now from this dream. What a weird, <laughs> what a weird way to lock your body in a coffin. A coffin and an urn. That was weird. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? The Passage of Ash ability. We've now got the double jump. Hell yes. Let's go. Stunning. Oh, we're going to do so much. Look at us go. Wahey. Oh, we're going to traverse so much now. Let's fucking go. Ah, stunning. Love it. 10 out of 10. Oh, come on. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Awesome. I did. I did smack that cherub. We need to free it from its little cage. Oh, wait. Can I just jump over? Oh, hell yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Look at this. Hey. Can't do shit to me, son. Oh shit. Spoke a little bit too soon.
Oh no, I don't have any. Ah, shit. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. You just gotta be super careful down here. I did press the button twice to swap, but... Are you seriously telling me that that's not enough? Need to change the fucking order of my weapons around. That's... Silly. Doesn't even let me switch blades that fast. One, two. There we go. Oh, nice! And all of this is for the upgraded sword, which I don't use. Great. Because why would I use anything else when I've got the Bonk Master 3000? No, that's that's not a sex toy. Not even paying attention to him. No, not the honk master. That's something different. Now, there was a bit over there. I feel it would be remiss of me not to try and get that area. Did you like my use of remiss there? I'm sure you did. I love when Metroid, see when Metroidvanias get like their traversal mechanics and stuff right and like genuine like wandering around the world gets so much more exciting with stuff. I think there's quite a lot of Metroidvanias that have come out in the past wee while that have like spent obviously a lot of time trying to get like the specific skills right, for example. But they've not managed to get the uh... Like, it should be fun, it should be more fun to traverse the world once you've got the cool, like, mechanic that you've got, you know? There we go. Because now with the double jump, I can get over enemies and I can not die and all that good stuff. I feel like 800 tiers of atonement at this point isn't that much. Okay, I think this area has been kind of cleared, I think. I'm gonna go back up the way I came. Grateful. I heard her whisper in there and I was like, hmm. So here's a here's a question, gang. 
A can can any of you recite like a, like a Bible verse off the top of your head? That was a weird question to ask, but I am curious. Like, I'm, I just I know that there's like a large amount of people who you know could tell you their favourite passage of the Bible. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine. I, I mean, I, I didn't go. I grew up particularly religious either. It's just like you always hear about like, like on you know TV shows and shit like that. You know how like there's always the person who can like randomly quote Bible passages, and it's like I don't know what. I was, obviously, we're playing the most Catholic game in the world, so um, it's like some Bible verses are drilled into you when you go to like church as a kid, yeah. Don't know, it was just never a thing for me, so... How the fuck am I supposed to get that far? <laughs> that is amazing, Chicky Boots. That is probably the, the best, the best first time chat we've ever had. <laughs> it's like, yeah, don't... Don't be happy towards your neighbours in the morning, you unneighbourly bastard. Um, <laughs> that's funny. And sorry, Neil Gabby, I saw you as well. Hope you're having a good day. Right, two can double jump, you little fucks. Goodbye. Now, if I believe correctly, I think there is something here. Yeah, there's a woman who's like dying, and you like go and visit her. You visit her spirit, and she's like, "Complete this combat challenge." <laughs> that is a really long jump. I think I need like a mid air dash or something to the do. It. Find, my find my daughters and put out their candles. Sure. That seems fine. <laughs> okay, before I continue on, I am going to have a mini break, which means that we'll be going on my BDI back screen. We're going to play a little bit of words on stream. Uh, if it hurries up and loads. And we will get started, so one lot second. Oh great, Firefox wants to update. Thank you, Firefox. Please just do what I tell you. Thank you. See, I do break sometimes. That's positive. <laughs> I can have a little rest as a treat. Okay, happy, uh, happy mucking around. I will be back shortly.
Right, I will give you one more, because I know that everyone likes one more, but that's me back. We'll continue after this. How the fuck is Rost not a word? Alrighty, well done gang. Let's jump back to the game. So, here we are. A we do off to. We'll go up. Can I yeah I can make this, nice. So this way ah One of these little fucks. I mean, not bad progress. This game, this uh, this stream. We're definitely. Didn't see how low my health was. I feel like that that's been a problem. This stream. I'm not sure if it's just me being a dumbass and not looking, but I feel like I've not. It's not been super apparent that I'm about to die. It's either that or enemies are doing like way too much damage. Uh, what do you mean by analog horror? Ow. What a fucking joke these enemies are, man. They're so overpowered. Ah, right, okay. Um, it's not something I normally look into, but I'm not against it. Right, fuck these guys, not dealing with that shit. In fact, this one's okay. Andy might drop something, so... I get my bearings here, but we've got a new item, 800 tiers of atonement. What a steal. Ow. 
Ooh, that was close. I thought I was going to survive that. Right. I'm ignoring you. Because you're a wee bastard. I'm ignoring you. And you. And you. Jump scares are always my biggest issue with any sort of horror. I'm really not a fan of any jump scares at all. Um, I think they're cheap. I think they're really cheap. Oh. Oh, that speed is stuck. Oh no, it's not. What the f what the fuck is happening? Creepy atmospheric games are good, and to be honest, I don't mind being like even the stuff like you're getting chased, I don't mind. Like that's kinda whatever, but I, I really, I really don't like, um... How the fuck am I supposed to get that? Am I supposed to, like, wait? Or do I need a dash ability there? No chance. Not without a dash ability. Dread is a really good feeling. I mean, like, to be honest, I, like, fear from hiding as well, like, Alien Isolation did it really well. Um, like, when Alien Isolation came out and you were, like, hiding in the lockers and the alien, like, the AI was smart enough to kind of, like, oh, you've been in the lockers a couple of times, it's going to start checking the lockers. Like, that was just perfect. Um, and we do play a lot of games and stuff that are horror. Might as well buy these, eh? Buy that. Buy that. Cool. We'll just buy all your stuff and leave. <laughs> and to be honest, I actually thought Outlast did horror particularly well for a game. Like, there was jump scares in it, but there was also just like really unsettling vibes. Embossed rat skull. Oh boy. Okay. So we're now going back to the main area. Oh wait, we can now get to this bit, so hold on. Oh no, we can't, because we don't have the... There must be another power. There's there's definitely another, like, traversal thing. Like a dash. A mid-air dash. That's what we need. Um, we don't have anything for the woman downstairs. Might have something here. Yes. We did find sisters. 
We need to find more sisters. Fuck. Every day on dating apps is a horror. What are dating apps like now? <laughs> Me and Jessica were talking about this and it was like, we've got no idea. <laughs> um, is it a war zone? It kind of sounds like it. We hear like a lot of the horror stories. Is it just people on there being bastards? I've seen a couple of, like really bad ones recently. There's this uh, lassie I know from Glasgow, and she she posts like their bios up all the time, and some of the bios are like, holy shit! Why did you think this was a good thing to say on a dating app? Jesus Christ! What? Is that like some sort of, like, you know, way to rat out who's not into degradation? I'm guessing a lot of stuff like that is still focused on straight up, like, hooking up rather than dating. Oh, how did I get to... can I... Oh, that worked. Huh. Nice. What the fuck? To your reverence, after seeing myself freed from grief following long Stop drinking the honey like that. I dreamt that I saw some bees create a honeycomb of sweet honey inside the now empty recesses <laughs> of my soul. But the miracle does not I heard that there's this really funny thing like when truth, uh, when women are starting to get like hit on by guys that they don't want to talk to in, in public they can just say sorry I don't have any change and oh, the reactions like always amazing <laughs> what do you want? Your reverence's visit, take, this. take the maiden if perchance this gift I give you should break this honey, which let the come back. Okay, it's a bit weird. Not sure I'm a fan of the honey man. <laughs> Okay, so we've done all this section. A little bit through here. Skeletons. Creepy old women who want to kill me. Creepy babies locked in spiked cages. Because of course. through that. Oh, that was incredibly close. 
Right, I just want to get to the next pre deer. So we will now go to Yeah, we'll now go to this top section, I think. Caffeinated kitty. Shit, there's a hand thing there. I should have just teleported up. Fuck. I'm a dumbass. I've been getting a lot of scam calls recently from people pretending to be from O2, the service provider, and it's funny just like, whenever <laughs> whenever they say, hello, I am from O2, and I just say, no you're not, and then they hang up. <laughs> it's like, because they always start the call with like, hello, how are you, it's like absolutely not how you would introduce yourself on any sort of like cold call sales thing. Oh what the fuck? What the hell is this? Oh it's a oh it's a bird. It's a stony bird. A stony bird that's filled with blood. Because of course Oh fuck! Ah, oh, you're joking me. What's happening? I'm not What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck, man. Oh, the cats are here. <laughs> and I didn't rest at one of the fucking things cuz I'm a weird idiot. Right, hold on, actually. I am going to get rid of my guilt. I need to come clean. I need to confess. It is time. Elevated temples. <laughs> Did the cat sound set off your dogs or no? <laughs> right, okay. We're back with this shenanigans again. Free the cherub. Ouch. Right. 
One, two. Doesn't look like we can do anything just yet on that front. Uh, at least we've got this. Okay, it's time. Let's go. Need to basically get those two stacked and then double whammy them. There we go. What the fuck is that gold attack? Jesus, the gold sword is just like fuck me. Back to this section again, we'll do. See if he didn't get knocked back so far, I'd be able to kill that guy really quickly. Cool. Oh, what I would give for a dash, Jesus. It's like fighting with one hand tied around your back. It's really tough. Whoa. Whoa. Come on. Dodge, 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 dodge. One, two. Dodge, 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 dodge. Oh, wow. Shit, shit, shit. Fucking hell. Ah. So now I'm trying to get to that one guy each time. Have you noticed, it's not the bosses that are difficult, it's the combat rooms when you've got, like, no... No skills. Literally no skills. Right, let's go. One, two, 
one, two, three. It does, you're right. <laughs> um, I actually think it's pretty... Like, the... They didn't make certain enemies, like, only vulnerable to one type of weapon because they thought that that would be annoying, which it would have been, but it also means that I go through the entire game with one weapon and that's it. It's that kind of, like, weird fine line, I suppose, between playable and then giving, like, suiting different playstyles and then forcing experimentation. They kind of went the platforming route if you want to experiment with a weapon. Oh god. How is there more? Come on. There's more after that enemy. Jesus. And that enemy hits like shit. Eva was doing that to me this morning, CC. I know exactly how you feel. Hey, <laughs> room 215, how you doing? Oh, get out of there. This is the bonk weapon. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Jesus. <sighs> right, give me the fuck out of there. Thank God for that thing. Oh look, this is the dove thing. Please take this gift. The key of the pilgrim. Oh heart. That would have been really funny. Thou seeketh from us. <coughs> well, we got to the pilgrim place. Now we need to speak to Crow Boy again, the or Dove Boy, or whatever his name is. Never will I comprehend for what exalted reasons I was chosen to witness and narrate the events by which the miracle sought to return to us. For many okay. eons have passed since it abandoned us. Oh, okay. I see my request was granted, and that blessed pilgrim delivered my offering to you. Cast cool. open the cages whose keys were stolen. I don't think we've fought any bosses yet, so... Well, I've not fought any bosses yet that have keys to the cages, so... Color from the raven. Oh no, have we? Oh yeah, I'll be the one that we killed him at the bottom. Okay, so that's already the first boss done. Okay... Sure. Nice, we've got our first, first dove. Demand second breakfast. Well, you can't forget second breakfast. <laughs> the way that enemies explode in this game is just amazing. <laughs> he says in a completely normal way. Hmm. How the fuck did I get up here? Oh, we go this way. Or do we? Stop rolling your stupid hangs. So, here's a question. Can I? Ah, uh, no. I thought I could. So, 
So how the hell are you supposed to get up here? No. Nah. It's not happening. It's not even happening if I lift my shoulders up when I jump. I mean, the parallax here is very nice. Oh look, I stop on the way. I mean, I'm glad that I've opened up this, but it also seems a bit... I mean, I need to run back now, so... <laughs> Yay! Gone up here. Hop, 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 hop. Ouch. Have I played Devil May Cry? I haven't, no. I have played Bayonetta though, which is also very religious. With all of its angels. No, there's nothing that I can do at the moment to. Where the fuck was that key the pilgrim was supposed to take me? Oh, further up there. Hmm, I see. I see. So maybe I do go this way. Dante from Devil May Cry and Bayonetta are cousins. Hmm. I knew they were kind of tangentially related. But nah, like, I didn't mind Bayonetta, but it's also, like, that kind of hack and slash, the, like, 3D hack and slash is not my thing. Like, I don't really like a lot of games that do the whole points for killing things in a certain combo and all that stuff. It's just, I don't know, I've never, I've never enjoyed it. Oh, there's no way I'm getting across there. Uh, that being said, I did really, really like Bayonetta, so I'm not not saying that. It's just it's not my it's not my go-to type of game. Devil May Cry, it, it's it probably wouldn't be. I'd I say that I'd probably play it. I'd enjoy it, but it's not something I would seek out. Like the reason I played Bayonetta was because I streamed it, and that was really good. See, you love DMC, yeah. <laughs> Devil May Cry 2 doesn't exist. What's, uh, what's so bad about it? In, from your perspective. So we're basically... Okay. Don't play Devil May Cry colon Devil May Cry... What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh look, there's no, uh, no thing. Do I care about any of this? Not at the moment. No. Is there nothing of interest to you? What a pity! What a pity!
Oh god, don't trust the paintings or whatever. Okay, we've got a little bit of teleportation. I like it. I just want a dash ability. Give me the dash. It's <laughs> this um this definitely helps with a lot of stuff, doesn't it? Oh fuck. It's a bit like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, isn't it? It's a fantastic game, but it's a terrible Assassin's Creed. And I should know, because I'm the authority on Assassin's Creed games. What's this? Oh! Is this a dash? Do we get a dash? Give us a dash. Give us a dash, give us a dash. Mercy of the wind, it sounds like a dash. Aerial dash, hot. Damn, that's fucking sexy. Ah, oh, stunning. Ah, oh, beautiful. How'd I get in there? It's actually a completely locked off section, that's why. The Basilica of Absent Faces. So... Ah! Oh, nice. Whee! Okay, so we'll just rest up here and then we'll go wham, bam. Okay. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Excuse me. Can I not get stun locked please for five seconds? Thank you. Holy shit a moly. So that's a one dash. Oh, fuck. No. Oh. Ah, shit. Come on. Sorry, I don't know why auto mod has been such a bastard recently. Basically, I think what happened was Twitch updated their moderation somehow and it basically purged like all of the permitted terms, which means that like I have auto mod on for like lightly. Like obviously I make sure that any sort of like racism and anything like that's like an absolute no no. But then it's just like, they've removed all the words, so, and it's, it's variations of it as well, so if someone says dick in isolation, that's one thing, if someone says eat a dick, then that's like its own term, and it's like, for fuck's sake, if I allow dick, then, you know, I don't really care what they say with dick, dick's not offensive. Very annoying. Shit. 
Oh god. What the- oh fucking hell, what is this? Wow, oh, what an annoying enemy that was. No. Not just yet, I'm gonna check this side. that way yet. Can't go that way either. And that way I'm guessing has a pillar? Yeah, I can't go behind that. That's fine. Jump and jump. Shit, no! Oh, it's a body. I thought it was like a floating scarf. This'll be fine. Benedicta of the Endless Orison. Horizon? Jesus Christ. What the fuck? No! Uh-huh. You're joking! <laughs> I've already used that one of my- You shouldn't be able to use a health potion when you're at full health. Just saying. I need to watch this animation every single time I start this fight. I totally do. Ugh. Oh, stop moving. Just stay still for a bit. I feel like I've done no damage to her at all. Ow. Oh, 
shit. What? Did I just not come through the other side there? I didn't fall. Hmm. Okay. Come on. We nearly got our half health. The annoying thing is it like Oh fuck 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 <laughs> Thank you, Miss Anaheim for the follow. <laughs> So do they just keep on going? Because that's kind of rubbish. <laughs> ah. Thank you for the follow, Miss Anaheim. Hope you're having a good day. How's it going? How's your day been? Oh, this is actually not a bad run so far. Oh, fuck. Those are really fast, those drills. Jesus. I think they're drills. I don't know what else they are. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh shit, we've only got the one now. Great. We finally just woke up a bit ago, nice. Well, good morning. Oh fuck. No, get healed, get healed. No, 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 no. Poor. What the fuck am I supposed to do there? There is one place. Ah. That was so close. That was a skill issue there. Right, come on, we've got this. We've got this because we technically beat her last time. At least I'm counting it as that. Don't you hop away from me. Oh, fuck. 
She's not used a lightning attack at all this time. She keeps on using those fucking balls. Ah. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh, come on, we've got this! Oh, hey! We did it. Success. No worries, Snowy. Thanks very much for hanging around. I thought the game just crashed there. I was like... Key of Endless Orison. Nice. Alrighty gang, that was like three... three bosses? Four bosses? It's not bad. Up we go. And we'll speak to the Birdman. And we've freed another dove. An incarnate icon, a symbol in which all our faiths... Hey. <laughs> Might be united in communion. Sick. All right, let's go. Dove, who borrows thine color from the raven, es escape your gilded prison. I mean, when you really think about it, you remove the religious aspects from this game, and it's really a story about freeing a bunch of birds from cages. So uh, there's a strong animal conservation angle to it, probably. There's a lot of feathers though, so I'm worried that maybe in the roof there's like a big ceiling fan and we're actually sending them to their doom. That would be a little bit bad. But there we go, we've got our second bird. So that was... wait, what? Hold on. Okay. Right, I will get to a rest point and then we will rest ourselves. See what I did there. Uh, thank you very much to everyone who's joined me for today. Um, I will jump back to just chatting briefly. Uh, this will be going up on YouTube. There's, To be honest, everything is on YouTube. I've been really on it. I've been trying really hard and every single... Um, Every single one has their own custom thumbnail. I'm trying to be a good boy, um, but yeah, that was uh, that was good fun. Uh, I will, in fact, I will say I know that we normally uh, do this in the end screen anyway, but do check out my stream archive. It really helps me if you uh, subscribe and like and comment. Um, even if it's something that you've already said on stream, I am not going to be upset if you comment. It really does just help the whole thing grow a bit. Um, so I really do appreciate anyone who goes and subscribes. Uh, in the meantime, I will jump onto our ending screen. Uh, I will find someone for us to go and raid. And then I will bid you a fond, fond uh, farewell until tomorrow. We are going to be doing more Stardew co-op at 4 o'clock. Um, and I'll be doing that with Joy, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, in the meantime, do consider checking out some of the links. We've got links to the Discord, we've got links to the YouTube archive, um, and there's also the Throne Wishlist and the uh, Ko-Fi as well. I will send you on to Hannah Rutherford, who is playing Marvel Spider-Man 2. Um, so if you don't want that spoiled, it's maybe a good time to bail. Um, but I'll send you her way and I will catch you 
next time. See you in a bit, folks. Bye-bye.